<laughs> well, hello, Minecraft Maniacs. It's the Frog Queen here, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. This is going to be a house tutorial, uh, but it's also going to be kind of a tips on how to kind of design your own house sort of tutorial. And so here's the house we're going to recreate, but I'm going to show you some things that you can change, how you can customize it a bit, and make it all your own. And just some you know basic tips for building so let's go do it shall we okay let's get started so I've cleared a nice area here and we're going to start with some stone blocks uh, we're going to make sure that we keep one one little area here for our door and uh, then we're gonna go backwards like that the key to making a really interesting house in my opinion is is dimensions F basically lots of stuff in the forefront and lots of stuff in the background <laughs> so let's get some good textures here we go I like to use the stairs just like that we'll leave that one like that because we're gonna put um, a window here so we'll go like that so that one will be a window and let's go like that like just like that and we'll pile those up so you can kind of see already we've got some good textures some interesting uh, levels going on oops let's go like that um, actually let's we're just gonna go boom and we're kind of making almost whoopsie almost a circle but not really um, and we're gonna be using the white terracotta on top of this just like that so let's run that all along the top and already you can see we've got quite an interesting foreground background lots of dimension going on in here you're also going to want to use oh some nice dark colors and light colors so stone of course is really easy to use really flexible good one to start with and I can show you how to texturize that in a minute once we get a little bit more of this done. There, so now we've got a little bit of the front done, but we want to build this up. Of course, this is our doorway here. We've got two windows on each side. So we're going to take um, the spruce log. It's nice and dark. And let's just go like that and we're gonna build a little balcony whoops let's get rid of that one we don't need that one um, I like to use trapdoors a lot spruce trapdoors being my favorite and we're just going to fill these in just like that and make a little balcony of course you could use slabs if you wanted to but I like how sleek and thin these are and it's actually going to allow us to add some more texture into the build so let's put a little overhang for our doorway there and let's scatter some more of these around and this is going to give us more texture and more to look at let's also take another upside down stone stair and see how now we've got something kind of like it's growing up in together <laughs> if that makes sense um, of course we're gonna put more of these spruce logs through here help frame out the house and these ones are gonna come up higher And then right here, of course, we're going to put more. So I think we're just gonna have to crouch, place that guy, and we will bring these up each side. Perfect. And now let's put more of that white terracotta in. You don't have to use white terracotta. You could use maybe white or light gray concrete, for instance this is really uh, easy to use color and let's go for a window here let's go for a window and I think we are going to yeah we might as well run this terracotta all the way along and I would like to put a temporary block there and we'll really get rid of that we'll run these all the way up these are kind of just temporary temporary guides really there we go excellent I like that 
and then we can get rid of that one, run these up a little bit higher, and we'll put another, probably another window right here. If I'm following kind of like the basic design I had previously made, which you don't, we don't have to do, we can make it slightly different. And um, probably bring those ones down like that. So again, you can mess around with this and change that up a bit, but that's our basic front. Okay, so now we're gonna frame it out with a roof. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, and I want this overhang to go pretty far out. I want it to be at least one block out. Um, but we're gonna use spruce to frame it on the outside, and we're gonna use jungle wood on the inside. Um, so here we go. Let's go like that right underneath and so that's gonna pop out like that and look nice and pretty And then we're gonna take another stair block on top and we're going to do like a ziggy zag till we get up to the top There we go. See we're almost in the center. So let's do that on the other side Make sure we put it all in the right spots We go like that Take that stair block Put it right underneath there we go. Perfect. Now we're gonna put another one underneath here. Much easier to do this in creative, by the way, of course, but I think you guys know that. <laughs> and there we go. So then we're going to put an upside down stair block right in the center. I'm gonna put a full size block right there and then I'm gonna do an upside down stair block to kind of cap it off there. There's a lot of different ones you could do to make this interesting looking, um, but this is the one I like. You could actually make it stick out even further. You can put a wing on it. Like there's different little designs you can do, but this is the one I'm gonna do. It's nice and simple and easy. Um, let's see, and then we've got that done. So let's fill it in with the jungle. Now up here, of course, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. We can knock these down. I had brought them up a little bit too tall, but I want this to be higher than the rest. So I want this to be the, as tall as it goes. That's how I want that to be. And actually, we're going to take this off just like that. To highlight that part of the roof a little bit more. Just knock those down. And we're gonna run this along. This is kinda gonna be as tall as we want it to be for the whole roof. So I like to do this kind of fancy thing that's a couple, couple different things you could do here, but we're gonna take the spruce stairs and kind of run them along here. And this looks really nice. It's a nice little detail for the roof. So I just kind of guessed how long we're gonna make that. But there we go. So that's it so far, guys. We'll put all the glass and everything in at the end. Um, of course, we'll put another one right like that. I think that'll finish that off nicely. And, yeah, there we go. I like to do double thick walls on the inside anyway, so then you can just put all the terracotta or whatever under on the other side. So now we, we've got a full front, but let's do a corner. And this is kind of where things get fun. Blending the roof is actually easier than you think. Um, so I like to do it this way where we kind of come up with a front first and then a design and kind of carry that all around with slight variations on each side. Okay, so we're actually gonna move these here. Again, we wanna create a little bit more dimension. So let's move these back to about here. And we're going to put down those stairs again, just like that. Excellent. There we go, because we're gonna start to move things around a bit here. Again, we might as well take our trap doors, put those there. 
Now that we've got that done, uh, let's continue. We're going to do more of that. And on this other side, of course, now that we've got a little bit more dimension, um, we're going to put some stone right here. Three, we want an odd number in between there for sure. And let's do that. There we go, have those just like that. And then of course around the corner again, we're just gonna go back to doing that. That's how we're gonna turn everything. <laughs> and I guess right here we're supposed to have, let's keep things consistent. There we go. Um, and we're gonna have terracotta for that second level. Let's put some shutters right here for that window. Perfect. And up here, of course, this is where uh, we could have another balcony, but let's do a window box. Um, so let's take our, jung our spruce wood and we're gonna fill in jungle wood in the center of it. Or additionally, if we don't like that, we could use, there we go just some more of those uh, spruce trap doors that's just fine and then we're gonna we're gonna bring these out so we're adding another layer another foreground um, and then let's take I'll have to grab those once again we're gonna just put whoops put some dirt there add some trap doors beauty and of course, we'll just get some, some cute flowers. Let's just, uh, you can use whichever ones you want. How about some bluets instead? <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then we'll, we'll put another layer of the terracotta here. And we'll close in this gap by bringing these up. Excellent. just fix that like that don't worry we're actually gonna be putting another another uh, little frame on this a roofing frame so I think we'll have a, um, a two by three window here so let's bring this up just a tad higher let's fill it in with that nice big window okay we're gonna do the roof now that we've got this frame out like this so let's find the center. We want it to line up right there. Excellent. We want this overhang just to be like two over. So let's go one, two up, because we've got to count this extra block here. So we're counting a three, right? To make it even on the other side. Um, but we've got this extra block here. So we just gotta keep that in mind. And two out. Let's do it on this side too let's do the same thing so we're gonna take and ta-da done so let's uh, fill it all in There you go, not bad. Look how that lined up. And we can do that on this side too. So let's do that on this side. Just the exact same thing. But we can, if we want, change the decor a little bit on each side, just to give it a little bit of extra dimension, you know? So let's again go three, one, two, three. Because we could put a window here if we wanted. Let's uh, use more of that terracotta. There we go. Let's get that there. Perfect. Excellent. And if we wanted, we could make this terracotta too. It's up to you. Whatever you think looks better. Let's get some shutters on there. 
I think that looks cute. And again, on this side, if we wanted another balcony or a window box, let's uh, let's do another window box. Let's fill this in with terracotta. And so we will take the spruce. Whoops, spruce stairs. Give this another level. Take the stripped spruce, the not stripped spruce log. We could strip it. <laughs> there we go. And we'll use the jungle this time. Wait for a second. Take our grass blocks. And we will use these. Excellent. Let's take a flower. Hey, everybody loves pink. Perfect. Then when we're in here, let's bring these up a wee bit. Let's fill this in with the terracotta. And again, I think we will go two blocks tall. And we can take those off. There, perfect. Again, uh, we want to count up from, we want to count three high. So one, two, three. This is where we're gonna put that overhang once again. Let's do it on each side. We wanna be even. Um, we should be also, a good thing to do is just to, to find the center up here. Just so you know where you're going. And that, that's your height, right? All right, let's do this part. Why not a spruce door? And I suggest putting it inwards a little bit extra. There we go. Again, to add that extra dimension. That's what we wanna do. So have a look at the front. I think we can pretty much replicate exactly the same thing, but instead of a door, we'll put maybe a big window or something else. But let's go around here and see what we can come up with. Let's take our bricks. And so we will run this along here. And then we're going to go just like we did on the other side. We'll leave that space there. Then we're gonna kind of pop this part out. This is where the door was. And whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where that goes. All right, there you go. Let's continue to build upwards. We're gonna take that uh, spruce log that we'd used previously. And we're gonna build those all the way up. Maybe, I think we went like that. These tree and are in the way. There we go, that'll guide us a little bit. And we had a balcony on this side. Um, how about we put a balcony door on this side, we put a window on the other one. How about we put a door up here and you can actually use this balcony. That would be kind of adorable. Um, and we've got these corners again, which I believe we're gonna match. We did terracotta on them before. So let's do terracotta there. And these ones we also um, had terracotta. So I believe right there we had some windows. Perfect. Cute, cute, we're liking it so far. Again, you don't have to use trap doors for the balconies. I personally just really like them. And I like them so much that I think I'm going to use them for the second floor as well as one of my little tricks on how I really like to 
basically light up a place, like make it feel like there's more room and space than there actually is. I think we're just gonna run the terracotta right along there. We might as well just make this one itty bitty window. I think that works just fine. It looks nice and even. Let, let's do that. Um, now up here, let's take the, the terracotta. We're gonna run it along there, but I think we will, we've got these guys, these guys. I think, yeah, let's go like that. Hmm. And then we're gonna take fence posts. Let's use, let's use the jungle fence. And we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take the jungle gate. Whoopsie. Got to crouch to place that stuff. Look at me. There we go. Crouch on each side. Perfect. And I really like the gate. It adds a little something different, don't you think? Yes. Perfect. You can come out here and look around. It'll be just lovely. Um, so we want to make sure that we have that that three by three. I'll show you what I mean. Right here. Three, three gap. So let's just make sure, do we have that on this side? No, it's a much bigger gap. So that kind of makes me want to shorten the balcony. Just a tad. And run these. Like that. And I mean, I still think that this is gonna be really cute, even if we shorten the balcony, just a bit. Just for, we wanna keep things even, and that's the kind of tips I wanna give you guys. <laughs> and in this case, we wanna keep things odd, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the, we wanna make sure that the sides are all even. <laughs> but odd numbers kinda rule in Minecraft for making things look symmetrical. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go one, two, and on the third one, that's where we're going to kind of start our roof. Let's grab those jungle blocks once again. There we go. One, two, and we want it out that far. We're also gonna just double check. We want this to be on the same level, so let's guide ourselves out that way. Exactly. And there we go. So you've got all these sides done and now you can really get the decorating going and that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so now that we've got this uh, kind of lit up, let's get some floors in. Um, to create a little bit more space below, I'm gonna use trap doors. This is like one of my little tricks that I like to do. You just gotta make sure that you're putting it on the top half of a whole block. And what does that mean? Does that make sense to you? So this is a full block here. And if you put the trap door on top of the full block, you can't put anything else on top to sit directly on top of that trap door. So that makes it not very good for stairs or for building with as a floor. But if you put the trap door on the top half of the block, just like that, then you can just set something directly onto that trap door, and that's what we want to do. So that makes an interesting looking kind of rustic style floor. And uh, that's going to give the appearance below that there's a way more room up here than there really is. Now we can go right up, perfect. Second floor. Now that we've got our second floor figured out, maybe it's about time we come out here and figure out what to do in these dormers. Um, so let's take white terracotta and our spruce log. Of course, I think a nice way to frame this in would just be to 
add the spruce log, we just want, want it to go in the right direction. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, we could go like that as well. Hmm. I kind of like this being a nice big open space for this balcony. I like this being wide open. I don't want to put a door here. Maybe we will just leave this nice and wide open. I kind of like that. Uh, let's look at the other side. We need some windows. Let's get some glass. I prefer to use the white stained glass, but the blue stained glass also looks really nice. But we're gonna use white. That's what I'm gonna use today. Here we go. I think it really pops. Doesn't that look cute? Uh, we might as well fill these in with a spruce there, just so we don't have any gaps. I think that looks lovely. And here, it's up to you. You could put another window or just put a block in there. But I think another window looks good, especially with that light shining through. Um, this one's a little bit different, obviously. We did this one a little bit different, but I think I'm gonna bring those down just like that. I like that a bit more. Um, we could even put shutters on it instead, just like that. I mean, this is totally your call. Maybe, uh, maybe, those. Uh, also, we could even be use, utilizing some of the other trapdoors for more color. Um, I mean, I'm kind of sticking with rustic colors here. So we could go ahead and take, whoops, take the oak and pop those in. Just to add a little more texture. See how that changed everything? <laughs> I love it. Just everything looks different. And here we go. We're going to come in here. And I think, what do we, what do, we do here? Um, maybe this should be a smaller window. Oops. Just like that. Perfect. And another one up there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now that we're down here, let's get the glass. We need, I, I realize we missed some windows down here. Fill these ones in. Uh, let's see, we'll go right in between. Whoops, my bad. We are missing also one brick, one brick. <gasps> of course we are. There we go. <laughs> That's better. we'll go there there and because this is like a different kind of poppy outy window we can do something really different with this one um, or we can recess it in as well there we go and great now we're all safe the only thing we've got to worry about is the lack of light down here <laughs> and so let's just take any old any old lantern. We're gonna use sea lanterns and we're gonna take some carpet. Um, what colors are we gonna use? How about, since we've got kind of like a pinkish color going on, um, we might as well do a little bit of a rustic deal. Uh, how about gray carpet actually? Let's, it might go well with the stone. I mean, let's see. Dark gray carpet, regular gray carpet. I don't know. We've got we've got a lot to choose from, and we're gonna grab the wool block that goes along with it. Perfect. And so we're gonna just pop out some places for some light. We're gonna put carpeting over that, and we're gonna pop in. The rest will be wool blocks. Some lovely carpet, you know? And we're gonna texturize so that, you know, we have a little bit of carpet that comes up, a little bit that goes down. It just adds a little bit of texture to the room. Let's just fill the rest of this in. We might even need more light. You could put more light down if you'd like. You could put the whole thing light if you'd like. We'll fix that door put light under every piece of carpet totally and completely up to you 
And let's get that spruce door back. We just we just broke it. It's fine. Um I mean, there we go. And uh, how about right there? Perfect. Okay. Right where I wanted it. And we've got a really nice lit up room and it's ready for furnishing. Now, we're not going to furnish the inside of this house yet. No, no, no. I think that's going to be reserved for a different tutorial. Instead, I'm going to show you how to decorate the exterior a little bit more. Little easy things that you can do. First of all, we could use a little bit more light around here, don't you think? There we go. One there. Uh, this is recessed in, so we could put one right there. Of course, we need another light there. And how about there? Excellent. I mean, you could put them anywhere you wanted. We could stick it right here. So now that we've got that decorated and it's all built, we can do a little bit more to the exterior and by that I mean some texturizing. So let's, for instance, go back to those brick blocks and grab some mossy ones. I love mossy cobblestone and mossy bricks. I think they're great. And I think they really add a lot to a build. So. We'll just add some in. Mostly, we want them to be down to the bottom, right? And I kind of like to use the moss a little bit more together like that, and then skip an area, and then kind of make it a little bit more overgrown. There we go. And it's kind of trickling up and around. Some sides are more mossy than others. We don't know how long this house has been here for. There we go. Kind of randomize it a little bit. And how about one right there? There we go. I like that. And then you can really get some you know, leaves and like overgrowth and things like that. Ooh, the nice bright jungle leaves. We, we, won't, we won't use those ones. Let's use some leaves though. We want some flower pots. We'd love some coarse dirt. Whoops, would help if I could spell coarse dirt properly. <laughs> there we go. And make things look a little bit traveled. Oops. Here we go. And you can kind of just do dot them around wherever you'd like. Um, of course, you can even have them growing off and around. Just like that. I mean, why not? go. Maybe some right there. There we go. Um, it's fun to be able to like play with the foreground a bit. As you can see already, this looks like a completely different house. <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, we can, you know, pop in some different plants. Jungle pl saplings are my favorite. I don't know about you, but those are my favorite. You can make some topiaries. I like to use uh, bamboo. So we'll put maybe, oh, I don't know, one right, right here with bamboo. And then this is easiest if you have a couple temporary blocks off to the side, just like that. Definitely do whatever feels good to you, whatever you like. And maybe you want up here to look all overgrown. You can actually just pop 
pop some of these out. I do this a lot when I'm building and uh, then have some that are just kind of sitting up here. Oh, you know what? We forgot to run the spruce stairs all the way to the top here. We, for we forgot. I forgot. Yeah, that's no problem. We're just about done. I got so excited with being able to use the lovely grass blocks and, and, and leaf blocks are my favorite. All right, let's go like that. There we are, loving it, loving it. Um, another little trick I like to do, if you want everything to look super overgrown, is pop in a little bit. There we go. Um, let's just grab some bone meal and some string. I mean, how long has this house been here for? And what has it been doing? Go like that, pop some string on so it doesn't get too tall. We don't want it to be too, too tall. Too, too tall. There we go. I mean, look at that. It's a completely different house. There's so much you can do and you can just keep adding and playing with it so you get achieve something that you really, really feel proud of. And that's it for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's a little bit different, but I wanted to like actually like explain a bit while I was building rather than using replay mod um, where, you know, we really don't get to talk about the nitty gritty of building and kind of how you can customize things for your own personal uses and learn to design your own things. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you like this style, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think. As always, thank you so much to my patrons. And until next time, guys, keep mining, keep crafting, keep creating. Bye.